two, three, fuck it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And today we are creating Diwali makeup. I'm sorry I haven't gone for so long, but I'm going to upload every day now. So without uh, wasting your time, let me tell you about the products that I'm using Plum Goodness Spray for my face. It's really amazing and very hydrating. And for moisturizing, I'm using almond oil. You can literally use any moisturizer that you have and that suits your skin. I'm also going to use this oil on my lips and as well as I'm using Borolin to moisturize my face literally and very nicely because Borolin has very good uh, you know consistency which uh, makes my makeup lays on very nice I don't know if you haven't tried you can try and by the title of the video you must have read that we are not going to use a foundation for today's video hence i'm using maybelline fit me concealer in the shade medium beige it's an amazing hack and nowadays we all know when we are wearing masks and we cannot just you know apply foundation and concealer and all that jazz on our face and you know we don't even have that much of time or ah, this is other time to unko mask ki lagana hota hai. So that's why I thought of creating such makeup. So I also applied the concealer on my eyes so that um, my eyeshadows lays really nicely. It's very important to apply concealer on your eyes so that your um, eyeshadows that you want to play with stays and sits for longer onto your eyes. Make sure to blend everything nicely. I'm using uh, Maybelline Fit Me Compact and uh, I'm just setting my eyelids with it because I've used concealer and it's very 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 important to set your eyelids for uh, the eyeshadow otherwise eyeshadow will crease really bad and I'm also setting my under eyes since we are going to anyway wear the mask we are not going to set all over our face and uh, also just the areas that you know going to oil like you get oils out of if i make sense now i'm going to apply the tape because i am going to um, achieve that you know sharp wing eye kind of uh, makeup look so that's why i am just applying the tape and before applying the raw tape you should you should do a patch test uh, over your hand or um, you know anywhere so that it doesn't be harsh on your skin if i make sense so for today's video i'm using this you can be splashy candies um eyeshadow palette and also i'm going to use vivacious jolly beauty vivacious palette as you all know that I use that palette a lot that's my absolute favorite and this one I have recently purchased in fact this is gifted to me now I'm using this a uh, beige orange color as my transition shade we are not going to take too many shades here we are just going to play around with two or three uh, colors so for transition shade I have taken this uh, beige orange now I'm gonna take this lilac color and I'm just going to pack it onto my outer corner just onto my outer corner and don't worry you don't have to be perfect you just go freehand and apply the colors apply and lay the eyeshadows because uh, when you remove the tape it's going to give you that perfect uh, angular makeup look as you can see I've already um, <laughs> uh, broken my eyeshadow palette and because i use this eyeshadow palette a lot and i just love this palette like insanely you just gotta make sure that you pack it all over um, the outer corner and you need to drag it out outwards you know uh, from the center to outwards so that it gives you that wingy effect if i'm making sense now i'm taking a very precise angular brush and i'm taking a slight darker shade it's a navy blue shade you can use a dark brown you can use any you know dark purple kind of a shade you just need to apply it onto the outer corner as a liner basically like not bringing it towards 
inside you just need to apply it um, as a liner onto the outer corner so that it gives you a very precise color so it's a duo eyeshadow that i'm uh, using it's from kiko and i don't remember the shade i'm sorry i'm looking like a jesus in this right now <laughs> it was like too bright now i'm uh, uh, spraying the plum goodness of spray onto the brush and i'm just taking the eyeshadow it's a very neutral yet shimmery eyeshadow it's very beautiful on eyelids um if you want to invest in a good eyeshadow which uh, you know which is not too shimmery yet gives that uh, perfect uh, natural makeup look this is the one trust me this is the one go ahead and buy it the reason i spritz uh, spray on my brush so that i can achieve that super glowy eyeshadow look um because the pigment of eyeshadow um tends to look better if you spray a makeup setting spray or this kind of spray any of the spray rose water anything that you have onto the brush now i'm using that same purple um eyeshadow and i'm just applying it all over my lower lash line i'm not going to use heavy liner for this look this i'm singing song here i'm really sorry for the lighting guys because you guys know i'm not using any kind of professional camera i'm using my phone's camera now i'm using maybelline's uh, this bronze kajal um i would suggest you to use this kind of white or bronzy kajal and not go for a black one because this look is very subtle if you use the black kajal it will go on the like off the board if i make sense it's totally up to you though if you want to use it you can but i literally was feeling the white kajal today or the bronze one now you can see that i'm not applying the liner entirely i'm just applying it on to my inner corners of the eyes with a very precise liner brush just applying it on to the inner corners if you can see very slightly ever so slightly i'm applying it just on the inner corners and you can see instantly my eyes look very 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 big and off camera i applied lashes it's totally up to you you want to apply lashes you go ahead if you don't want to apply lashes apply two coats of mascara and you're good to go now i'm using this um, contouring palette and i'm just packing it slightly onto my cheekbones it will give depth and structure to your face since we're not applying foundation this is the least thing we we can do right now i'm using mini so's blush and i don't know but i absolutely love this blush and i think it looks really natural on my face I'm just going to apply it on to the higher point of my cheekbones where we usually apply the highlighter I think and I believe that if you apply blush right there if you have a face structure similar to mine you should be applying your um, blush this way only so that your face looks really lifted and structured Now of course our favorite part I'm taking this Morphe's highlighter brush and for highlighting I'm using NYX highlighting palette and I'm just going to roughly going to pick these three shades from this palette and I'm just randomly mixing them going to apply it onto the higher points of my cheeks you can see it is going so well with the eye shadow and eye makeup really if you want to invest in a good strobing highlighting palette all the shades from this palette are amazing it's not sponsored as you know i'm a very little tiny youtuber it's not sponsored at all but trust me it's very 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 amazing it's a holy grail highlighter now for lips i'm going to use this um um Maybelline's um lipstick I somehow forgot the range of this lipstick but the packaging looks like this and the shade is seductress 
I absolutely love Maybelline's liquid lipsticks. They are super matte, comfortable and extremely gorgeous on dusky skin. Especially this shade is so beautiful. Now for setting my face, I'm using the Plum Goodness spray again and that's it. This is my finished look. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I shall see you really shortly. Please subscribe and like this video. Thank you. I'm gonna see you really soon. Happy Diwali to you all.